Hello peeps and welcome back to Pharaoh, a new city we're going to be building in the archaic period. Now, we've moved into a place where we can choose which city we would like to progress to. Uh, I am going to play both of them, um, but we will have to do one that's part of my actual campaign mode and then uh, there's a sort of a level select mode which I'll do to play the other before we can actually move on with the campaign because I'd like to experience both, lev both levels and it tends to be that you are picking and choosing whether you want to go more economy and culture or um, more military. Now I am always more into the culture um, aspect and economy side of things which is this one here now i'm not sure if i'm going to pronounce this right but abby deju not sure um and then this here is the royal navy the pharaoh's navy but we're going to do this one the challenge of the sea we get a large landscape two and a half thousand population there's three monuments here we're going to need a monument rating of 17 look we've got a small a small and a medium mastaba right uh we need a culture rating of 25 prosperity rating of 25 and kingdom rating of 60. it's pretty cool um so this is the one that we're going to do for the campaign abjadu the burial place of our forefathers has grown over the years into a sprawling necropolis of sacred tombs now most noble men and women wish to make this their eternal resting place to honor them, the new pharaoh, Kazakimwe of the Second Dynasty, has ordered the construction of three sacred mastaba tombs, one of greater size than the other two, for the local nobility. Pharaoh has also ordered the creation of a powerful navy based at Bedet. Abjadu, too, must support a modest fleet of combat ships if our shores are to remain totally secure. This will not be easy, as timber is scarce, and our climate supports only a few sparse areas of forest. Cedar may be imported at great cost from Byblos, in the land of Lebanon to the northeast. Fortunately, exports of our native papyrus will provide a means of offsetting this expense. So we are going to have a navy. It's just going to be a small one. It sounds like it's going to be tricky to build, though, doesn't it? Um, yeah. Well, well, we shall do our best. Here we are. Look, building boats and ships. Oh, it's been ages since I think we got a shipwright. The shipwright builds warships and fishing boats. Each boat must be supported by its own wharf. Uh, whenever there is a wharf in need of a vessel, the shipwright will begin constructing one for it. Without a waiting wharf, the shipwright will not build any ships. Although a single ship wharf uh, can supply all the vessels your city uh, needs, uh, multiple shipwrights will allow you to progress more uh, quickly. The shipwright doesn't need any materials to create fishing boats, but he will need a supply of wood and even weapons to construct military vessels, such as a warship and transport ships. Uh, docks won't require any ships. Uh, every maritime route you open with a city will allow the safe passage of their own merchant ships. Uh, make sure you have storage yards close to your docks to allow trade to proceed as smoothly as possible. Yay, boats, everybody. Oh my goodness, look. Oh yeah, we got crocodiles now. Excellent. They've uh, removed the sounds uh, for these by this, by it would seem. It's a shame, I really used to enjoy that sound. Okay. Uh, there's a couple of sounds I think they've removed from the game that I used to really enjoy that they've that they've got rid of. Um, we've got fish, look, so there's absolutely need for fishing boats. You can see here we now have a mini-map. Uh, there was an update <coughs> um, since I last played uh, where I mentioned they were making a mini-map, and here it is. Uh, we can toggle. Oh, there's a grid. Oh, that's cool. Flat mode. Don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't know what I'm looking at there. Um, good. And then, oh, that's that's cool. Right. That's very nice. Very nice. Also, um, the floodplains. When they flood, oh, I should probably pause this. When they flood, um, if there are any uh, bod any men left out there, they will now drown. Which is what was supposed to happen. <laughs> it's now it's now an actual thing. Um, we can see that there is a lot of desert out here which is going to be great um for the monuments this is our main road so we are going to be starting on this side of the river where there is not much floodplains 
There are fish. Plenty of land to put wharfs in. Um, but we're probably going to need a crossing at some point because look at these reeds. I know we've got a little bit over here, but look at these. And also, look at all these floodplains, you know. Um, this is the only place, really. This is the most sensible place for a crossing to gain access to all of this, including the farmland. This here is more for reeds, isn't it? So that's that's worth bearing in mind. And it seems like we're going to be need we're needing to make a lot of papyrus um, because it sounds like things are going to be getting expensive. What gods have we got here? Osiris, lovely. I enjoy Osiris. Um, now. Let's see. So we've got the flax farm. So we will be able to make linen um, and barley. Excellent. Uh, so there's no food to grow on these floodplains. But barley for beer and flax for linen. Can we actually produce those, however? Oh, look, look, we've got the dock there now. That's great. So, yes. Look, so we've got the papyrus maker, pottery, brewery weaver as well as brickworks oh yes yes there's the shipwright reed gatherer this is amazing so we've got we got we got plenty there okay um and then we have look transport wharf and warship wharf weaponsmith and whatnot here are the monuments we've got the work camp bricklayers guild and then we've got the small and medium uh, Mastaba. Uh, lots of entertainment and then beautification. Okay, right. So we've worked out that we are going to have to start on this side. That much we know. Right. We are, I think, being encouraged to start down towards the bottom here. For the simple reason that food is going to be one of the first things that we need to secure and make sure all is well. And the only food that we can get ourselves is fish. So, and the fish are all down this end of the river. There doesn't seem to be any fish at the other end of the river. So, with that in mind, we're going to be starting down here. Well, we do have a few reeds to get us started with the papyrus making as well. Um, and then we can always do a, a distant crossing over here to get something built over there later on. But first, it's food. I think this is going to be where we start. Also, that flat <laughs> mode is making sense now. <laughs> Not sure about this. Uh, never am when I start these things. Uh, <laughs> let's let's see how we get on. I'm going to unpause this. Lots of jobs. Lots of jobs. Then we have problems with the crocodiles. I forgot about the crocodiles. <laughs> you have to defend your people, otherwise this happens. Oh. Right. <laughs> this can become a real problem. Um, forgot about it. Now, I think the police, am I right, can fight them, but having military soldiers about the place is by far the best. Um, what do we have in terms of... Yeah, see, we could get some basic fighters, which might be might be a good idea just to... Uh, mind you, I'm used to playing without the Cleopatra expansion, and looking at it you couldn't get the soldiers out of the fort in because those forts that we were playing on in the last level definitely were like a cleopatra uh, they'd totally redone the forts and and the military so now i'm not sure um about this because military were really great at it but i i think i think it might need to be police so i might need to put in more police than we perhaps normally would to try and reduce this because this becomes a real problem um i'd like to see a copper because he's got a sword friendly here yeah no one is reporting any crimes we'd like to see him come into contact with a crocodile just to sort of see if i can remind myself what's occurring here um where where'd he go oh he's up oh. there He's definitely avoiding all of them. Oh, come on. Oh, he didn't. He didn't do it. I'm quite confused. Quite confused. <laughs> How did they do it? Well, the fishing boat's out. They they made a fishing boat. They're out. Mm, teach a man to fish and he'll empty the Nile faster than you can imagine. There it is. Wow, the fishing boat's are 
looking really slick these days. Yeah, really slick. Um, so everyone's dying via crocodile. <laughs> so I've had a read um, quickly on their forums about this because I seem to recall that the police killed them in the original game and other people are saying that on the... Uh, forums too, um, but they're not in a new era. Uh, others have also mentioned that the military used to be able to deal with it, but they can't with the way that the military is now done. Uh, the developers have responded and they've said that they haven't yet implemented a way to defend against these. Why? <laughs> this feels like quite an important thing. And what you have to do is just, uh, well, either let your citizens die or just turn them off in um, the options. So I will turn them off. Um, but that's a bit of a shame. Um, I, I don't understand why the police aren't currently defending against them. I think that would be uh, a fantastic uh, way of doing it. Simple to implement, surely, as well. Here it is. Look, predators. So I'll turn them off. Um, sure. They, they have said that they are working on a way um, to do protection for the city. So I guess they have an idea, a specific idea in mind that they wish to implement that perhaps isn't part of the original game and I, I guess is not police um, doing it. Who, who can say? There we are. Will that, will he then... Do they still just walk around but they don't attack maybe? Or do I have to start the level? Oh no, there we go. <laughs> Good, good. Right then. Fine. All is well. So we're keen to see uh, the fish. Oh, we saw fish briefly. She's getting fish into here. She, she's bringing the fish into here. Um, they're making a she a second. They're making a second um, fishing boat. So we can get m more fish coming in quicker. We can see that uh, the water is uh, starting to walk along here. Uh, which is nice. What is this like? Yeah, we don't have enough workers coming in. A second row of houses is going to be a bit... Th these rocks here are a little bit annoying. Not going to lie. A little bit annoying. Got uh, the fishing boats. Excellent. Oh, I like seeing them with the with, with the big fish. You see him, he had the huge fish. Here we go. Look, look, look. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then out comes the hundred fish. Let's stick them into the granary. Look at that. We love it. Good. Right then. So we do have a temple for Osiris. We should probably hold just a little common festival. Uh, nothing too crazy. Just to get that started. Now I notice that we actually don't have clay pits. So all the stuff that we're going to have to do we are going to need um, to be importing clay and things like this looking forward. So I thought we'd have a look at the map, see what we've got going on. Um, look at what they buy. Wow, it's, we can't make those. That's a real shame. Um, but they do sell wood. It is expensive, as you would imagine. Um, they sell clay. So this is, this is good. Um, they do sell clay. We would need to get clay and straw, though, for bricks, I believe. Um, but I think it would still be cheaper than that and create jobs than if we tried to import the bricks. And we're going to need a lot of bricks. We are. Um, also, what are they buying? Um, they're not buying anything. Um, they're buying... Okay, so we could sell them beer. We could make uh, lots of beer for them, maybe. Um, Timna, where we just were. They sell weapons. That's interesting. Again, it might be cheaper to just... Uh, I don't think we have a weapon. No, do we have... I'll have to check. I'll have to check if we can make our own weapons and import the copper. If not, we may have to import the weapons, but that will be much more expensive. But they buy linen and the papyrus. This is great. They also buy fish and beer. Like, Timna are just going to be great for us, uh, potentially. Um, they sell, again, clay uh, and straw. Very useful very useful along with game meat and that because we're probably gonna have to buy in food as well um definitely um what have we got here this is all oh they sell granite as well we haven't really got into the other time oh there's an oasis out here <laughs> interesting um so yeah food i mean game meat is an option um but chickpeas might be cheaper they buy beer Who's going to be best for us? They don't actually sell any food. They buy all of this stuff. So they might be better a bit later on. 
we are going to be looking for summer that sells food is is meat the only sensible option it does look like it doesn't it we do have figs in Powajet. they also sell the clay and the straw um which is which is good i think we're going to start by getting a trade route to timna because they buy pretty much almost anything we're ever going to want to sell but mostly papyrus uh, right now so we're going to get that going but also we need somewhere that will um, uh, sell us food um, you know but this I think Powajat might be a little bit better because we get figs but we also get the straw and the clay which could be very useful to us for longer than if we than if we come here now they do buy beer and Powajat buys nothing but that's okay because we're going to be selling everything to Timna <laughs> so I think I'm also going to open this as well my thinking at the moment is we need to quite quickly establish a way of bringing in um, good capital and by far um, papyrus right now is going to be I think probably the way to do it to get that business up and running and then we can even go over to this lot if, if if needs be so that's that's the plan we're going to sort out trade for the city so I'm increasing housing first because we still need additional workers to skill this up and running um, and I'm going to want even more workers to start getting this this reed business going um, so yeah there's we're doing this I don't know when navies will, um, you know, be looking to turn up either. So I'm going to want to be... Oh, a trade ship. I don't I'm know why we came. Oh. <laughs> this city never trades. And a short leave is boring. <sighs> ship looks great, though. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> we're working on it, mate. Uh, yeah, uh, we don't know when navies are going to be coming. So, again, I think starting to get to a point where we'd be able to get with it in a push and, and build a navy, should we need to in a hurry, that, that would be more feasible than where we are right now. If a navy was coming now, um, it, it would be a bad time. It would be a bad time. Right, unemployment is starting to go up as people pour into these new houses. That's really good. So I am keen to get these reeds collecting. Uh, indeed I am. We have, uh, not this, <laughs> this is stock as well. We are going to need to look at storage yards here. Um, we are going to make people travel a little bit to the reeds, which is not ideal. Um, but you know, that's just the way that it's got to be. We're looking to keep these fairly clear as well for docks and storage yards. So we need to be careful of this land over here. Um, we're probably going to need it, indeed. We're going to need quite a lot of reeds as well. Quite a lot of reeds, quite a lot of people going out there, gathering them. They're going to be fairly unpleasant buildings as well um, to look at. The same with the papyrus maker, and then there'll be storage yards. We're going to have like a whole thing going on here, aren't we? Um, and it won't need water in that, so I am inclined to sort of bring it out into the desert a little bit. Oh, the sounds are so lovely. I do enjoy the sounds. So, do you know what we'll do? We'll see how we get on with this. All right. We're going to... That's outside the paper place, the papyrus. So we're going to accept... Not empty, jeez. Going to accept all that. And here, we would like to accept um, all the reeds. That's it. Yes. Um, and off they go. Loads of them. Look at that. Look at that. And this does deplete. So we are probably going to have to look at getting them across here. It's a thing. There are um, land crossings. They've changed these menus a little bit again. <laughs> it's a little bit, little bit confused. It's too far for a bridge, of course. Um, but ferry landings allow your citizens to cross. And we are going to be interested in that. But they do require people to operate them, which is, is frustrating. Not gonna lie, it is frustrating. Um, you know, 
What can you do? But it's a thing. And uh, we'll do that. And what I'm thinking is... I'll do something like this. <laughs> just see how it goes, you know? We'll just see how that goes. Um, give it... Uh, I've been encouraged to do this. I mean, I never used to do this when I was a baddie playing this game. But, um, you know, with the internet, we all start talking to each other. And they're like, no, 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 seriously, try it. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to try I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. See if we can get some people just to operate this. How many does it take? Five. Do you know what? We could probably just do with one house, right? One. Like that. I'll probably get, get away with that. I'll give it a go. We'll see. Wow, look at the reeds come pouring in. That's incredible. They've not had food from the local bazaar. Uh, this is this is a problem. Um, I definitely want to import food. This is why we're getting on with this really quite quickly. I'm concerned if I put a papyrus maker here, they're going to complain. Um, but we we might have to do it. Um, mind you, these reeds will. Can you see? They're depleting quickly. So. They'll work through the backlog and they'll be fine. Uh, we'll get them across here. Get them across here. Yeah, the reeds are piling up. But look, it looks so good. We've got a nice smooth operation going here. What's unemployment like? Absolutely colossal. <laughs> um, great. That's absolutely great. Um, absolutely colossal it is. Right. And I can see there is fish in there. So I'm going to put a bazaar here. Um, I think that might be nice. So there's one just closer to them. Because there is fish available up here, isn't there? There is indeed. I was wondering as well, because they're having trouble getting water. Is it worth me getting a well up here? Probably isn't the worst idea. I wonder... Um, if I was to do that... Yeah. Yeah, there. That's... That's nice, eh? Um, if I... Does that does that work? Oh, it absolutely does work. Oh, I'm, I'm into it. The only problem with this stuff, of course, is that um, the water from these wells, I don't think, is as clean and as nice as the water from these wells. Um, so they might be more susceptible to illness. Now, we do have health um, kicking about the place. We'll see how that goes. We can always see about getting a well over here or something at some point if we absolutely need to, couldn't we? That's not a problem. So... Um, that's not the right one at all. What we want to do is look at this one. Yes, yes. We um, have absolutely no interest in keeping any of this papyrus at all. We are just going to export everything. Um, and I think we're going to import um, to maintain, let's say... Um, 400. We'll see how that goes with the money. Um, I'm not really, not really sure. We'll see how we get on. Uh, can, are these, these are now being operated. These are now being operated. So, with these reeds being depleted here, they should, I believe, start coming over to collect all these. And I do wonder, should we? have more look the, the unemployment has gone through I, I have too many houses everybody too many houses <laughs> um, indeed we do we should put in perhaps um a tax office they're not going to be happy about it are they um no but i think i'm going to pop in a tax office with a police station if i've learned anything <laughs> <laughs> it's that we have to have police stations here. Yes. Um, so there it is. There's our police station. Uh, firehouse as well. We've also put in... I've decided to, to stick this in. You know, uh, I like that these work, but I'm going to try and operate without them. Plus, this this is more jobs, isn't it? More jobs. <laughs> um, papyrus makers... We want more of them. It's going to have a determinal effect, though. Of this, I'm aware. We could possibly put... Oh, my goodness. We've gone in the wrong direction, haven't we? <laughs> well, 
We'll get the papyrus maker in there. Keep that going. Um, beer. So, well, we've certainly got the unemployment for it, but we are going to be late uh, for sure on this request. Um, we're going to need... We could import the barley just to get get it made but it's a lot though isn't it i mean it's a lot of barley it's asking for a lot of freaking barley um, so we'll we'll um pop in a few fields here all right pop in a few fields there all right get a path um do you know what Put the path this way we will need um a workers camp yep that's it we need a workers camp we will uh, pop that there yep we don't need anyone to be going beyond that point do we that that'll be absolutely fine so we need to get that in then we need people to actually brew it and we also need storage yards uh to get all this done um hmm. now i thought it said a land route um, but we are getting boats for Timna, right? So we probably also need a dock. So I might actually have to have all this travel all the way down here <laughs> and do something over here with the beer, possibly. You know, or do I bring the beer over here? Oh, it's difficult. So we're reducing the amount of papyrus that can be stored in here and we've put it so that we can get a bunch of papyrus in here. Um, because we've now built a dock because we want to start trading um, and it does seem that they're coming via boats we've decided here so we've got some brewers um, we've got storage yards one for the barley one for the beer so that we're you know hopefully bring down this employment rate which the unemployment rate <laughs> bring down the employment rate the unemployment rate uh, which we are uh, which is wonderful what we need to do is start stockpiling this though because i i don't i don't trust them you know i, I want to see this being stockpiled so the beer we're going to stockpile this resource yeah that's right that's right and uh i'm not seeing anything great about the nile let's hold a small festival that's getting a bit more expensive these days um cyrus might benefit actually from having another temple somewhere over here uh, i think maybe we could do something like that um that might be nice do you know what i think i do prefer uh, no it's just because i want the path to come out but you know this is a bit more amongst the people you know it is a bit more amongst the people isn't it um what do you mean they lost access to religious facilities what are you talking about they've just gained them <laughs> They've just gained them. Oh, we're getting all sorts of... Oh, we need additional workers now, apparently. Well, so entertainment will help evolve these houses um, further, which would help us get in uh, these few additional workers rather than building more houses. I think it's it's better to try and see because we've got a lot of devolving going on. Yeah, they're going up and down, up and down. Uh, but entertainment is definitely a thing here we need to look at entertainment but we do have a few religious issues maybe we could uh pop in a couple of shrines you know try and lock it in a little bit um that, that definitely helped didn't it now we're going to get in a juggling school get in a juggling school um we will i think i am going to do you know what should we pop it there pop it there it's fine and then we need some juggling booths this is a good place for a juggling booth so is this um oh it'd be good to get one in there actually so what we'll do is we'll we'll do that and pop one here as well so we're getting a bit of entertainment about the place employees are needed it's a true story <laughs> it's a true story um they're they're coming they're they're coming. It's happening. It's happening. Um, so the barley has come off the field. We don't have much. <laughs> we are never going <laughs> to fulfill this order. I wonder if we could... What What can we actually buy in? We don't really have any money to be buying anything in at all. Um, 
and I don't think we can buy in because I wasn't interested in it. Yeah, can't. And that's to export it as well. We can export beer. Yeah, see, so it's no, it's not really any good to us. Um, we don't yet have. Oh, we do have people working at the dock. That's good. So we might start selling. We've got papyrus here as well, so we might be able to start selling soon. Have they been coming over here? I'm not sure that they are coming over here. Maybe I need to actually have some more housing over here with an additional reed gatherer. Perhaps. Who knows? Uh oh. I mean, it's not going to happen, is it? We're going to be late with that one. Our kingdom rating is going to fall. That order came in so fast. I just... I just uh, <laughs> give, give us a break, right? We're doing the best that we can. Oh, look, they sell these things. So maybe the one, the dock thing isn't too needed. Maybe this one... Oh, it does say water route. Oh, yeah, that's the one we're looking at. You. Land. Oh, it is land. Oh, that's fine. Well, it doesn't matter. It's it's ready to go. It's ready to go. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you to all my Patreons for their continued support.